climate change, from my perspective, I'd say, is the single largest threat to Africa's growth potential. It poses risk for every sector of Africa's development, for water sector, for the energy sector, and infrastructure, human health, agriculture, land, ecosystem, in a nutshell, human security. This is a continent that is very much heavily dependent on rain-fed agriculture. So I would say that increasingly we are seeing how climate change is threatening the water sector. We are a continent that thrives on agriculture, that has tremendous natural resources, and natural resources at the same time are almost our Achilles heel because we haven't been able to develop these natural resources into growth patterns that would support populations in Africa. We are the hardest hit when it comes to climate impacts. We are a continent that recognizes the importance of strong institutions and strong governance models, but we haven't been able to use these institutions to really put adaptation on our scan, on, on the political scan, on the economic scan, or on, on any sort of you know, geopolitical scan. By 2050, our population is going to grow to about 2.3 billion. You know, that's a tremendous amount of people that are going to need services. The land that we have um, is degrading faster than we can replenish and that we can, you know, make good on that land. The, the IPCC land report um, that was out not so long ago did point to the fact that land is under multiple uses but under, under a lot of stress and a lot of stress by um, caused also by you know the current failings of our policies on land but also the fact that climate change is one of the culprit. There are other sectors, there is an energy sector. Energy um, I think is a barometer of our social economic development. Without energy you can't do virtually anything. So I would say also that we do not have um, an emissions problem, we have a growth problem. We can use energy as a corridor to enable that growth. We can use agriculture as an accelerator to diversify our economies and to enable growth in the agricultural sector. But climate change is inherently a justice problem. So I think in terms of the distributional impact of climate change, we can say that there are huge asymmetries of injustice. We have to find a way of leveling the playing field. And one way of doing that is probably the Global North recognizing that the solutions to climate adaptation, climate mitigation, would mean that Africa has to be front and center. Many of the plans of bringing emissions down to 1.5 or 2 degrees, you know, I feel that are not going to happen if 54 countries in Africa decide to take a different alternative route towards mitigation. We are a continent of huge resources. If we decided that we were going to go forward and start using our hydrocarbon resources, our coal, our oil and our gas, I think that will be a, a huge spoiler in terms of the plans that other regions have towards uh, mitigation. So I think that being the case, Africa needs to be supported in terms of how it might get it right um, so that we do not grow and then use that hard won investment to come back and clean up after ourselves. It is in our interest to grow in a resilient way um, and so growing in a green um, manner is possible. But, but that has to be incentivized by monies that can be invested in adaptation as well as in mitigation. Many of the nations that we're talking to in the global north have not been able to arrive at the level of development where they are without their agricultural sector. This is a continent that has huge ambitions about industrialization. We can't industrialize without a strong and, strong and performing agricultural sector. We're still a continent of potential. We have to move away from becoming 
a, the continent of potential, potential in solar energy, potential in uh, agricultural development, to becoming a, a continent where we actualize the potential.